In volume two of the Erie Lackawanna, we'll resume our tour from Haynesburg and progress west to Binghamton and to Hornell in the 1960s. We'll then view operations on the Sussex Branch between Branchville and Cranberry Lake. And finally, we'll close this volume with scenes along the Erie from the west end of Hoboken to Starucca Viaduct in Lanesboro, Pennsylvania. There's a view of the eastbound Phoebe snow at Stateford Junction. What a beautiful train. This is from Route 80, the Phoebe Snow. Three units were a big train. Train 40, the Pocono Express at Strasburg. Same baggage clerk. There comes Baldwin's with an empty hopper train out of Portland. Coming into Moscow. The L still goes up here. Because a westbound freight passing through the station. There's Factoryville Tower. There's Hornell Shops, the old water tank. There's the westbound Branchville passenger train at Newton. Check out the station. Here he is arriving at Branchville. This is taken from Route 206, leaving Branchville on east. This is 206. One of the creameries in the area. Now we're at Rutherford, the big Jersey Meadows, milepost 5, RS3 with a commuter train. Here goes underneath the Route 3 bridge. Here we are in Karlstadt, westbound commuter train with an RS3. That commuter went back to change his shorts. Here comes number 51 westbound at Rutherford Station. This is Tuxedo, New York, on the X Erie. Two SD45s and a train rounding the Tuxedo curve. Middletown, the westbound passenger train. Port 
Juris now. PA backs to his train in the coast yard. There's a U-25 and a C-424. I think that's Kenny Von Steuben on the platform. Here's an eastbound with GP-35s at any farm road crossing sparrow bush. This is just a little bit west of Port Jervis. Here's a westbound at Mill Rift. Notice the bank curves. Super elevation, built for speed. Look at this guy going. Remember I said the C-425s had a lot of stunt. Well, they show here, coming around the curve at Hankins. He's really booking. There goes an eastbound freight over Starucca Viaduct. 